Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And um, it's been a while, but tonight we are unboxing the premium Bandai exclusive um, Turn A Gundam Moonlight Butterfly version. Mm. Yeah, this one's a really beautiful one that I'm very, very excited for. Um, so first off, uh, we are behind on the contest. I know we will get to that. I am <laughs> sorry. We've had a lot of shit going on. Uh, it is what it is, but we will get to it as soon as we can. Um, but here we go. Moonlight mm -hmm. Butterfly. Just received this. This is a Master Grade Kit, a 1-100. Um, it is a P-Bandai exclusive. It is different than the standard um, Turn A MG for a couple of reasons. First off, it is a, a special pearlescent clear coat. Um, second off, it has the uh, Moonlight Butterfly um, <laughs> nanobots um, going on. And let's see here. And it, it's a P-Bandai kit, so it doesn't really have any box art. Um, it just has the, you know, name on the side and the cover. Okay, so here we go. First thing you'll notice, this isn't just the pearlescent um, coating on the white. This is, um, this has got a great colored sheen on the entire thing. Everything's pretty. Everything is pretty. This is not skimping. It is very, very hot in Japan right now. It is. It's immensely hot right now. <clears throat> like, David wanted to do some painting on a custom thing, and we're just not even going to try to spray paint because it's so hot and so wet. Yeah, it is It is <clears throat> absurd. Okay, so look at that red. I don't know if that's showing up very well in the camera. It looks like it camera. might be. It's, it's beautiful. It, there is an iridescent sheen to it. It's gorgeous. This gold, um, I'm actually really hoping that this is the same gold that's going to be in the Cathedral Gundam that's coming out real mm. soon. Um, and then even this gray, this gunmetal, it actually has a, a sheen to it. It has like a little sparkly effect going on. It's very subtle. Um, this is a very cool plastic. And then we have our transparent pieces here for our eyes and our head. Um, and they are gorgeous. They are a unique color. I have never seen that before in Gunpla. It's a real light lemon yellow. Yes. Um, almost lemon cello. Ooh, we should drink that later. Yes. <clears throat> Summer break for the kids at my school, so. Okay. I'm going to be crazy irresponsible. And then right. here's our first white piece. This is our V-fin, our weird mustache. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a mustache, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's the strange turn mustache. So turn A was what? It's like a weird... It's um, it's probably Tomino's most ambitious work with Gundam. Um, it's, so it was not popular. Um, it's moderately popular. It's definitely not the most popular side mm. story. Mm -hmm. It's technically set in the Universal Century, but like way, mm. way, 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 way beyond. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is almost silvery. Yeah. Um, it's But it's subtle. Uh, it's, it's a great color. Mm. Although I think I like this one better. Yeah, and then we have this actual softer gray, which is also shiny and iridescent. Yeah. And here's your pearl pearlescent pieces. Yes, here is our pearlescent pieces. Jesus, these are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Those are so cool. Yeah, this is a kit that you can't paint. <laughs> like, no. No. You can panel line it, you can't paint it. Mm -mm. It's a real insane. Um, is that a cow? I, I believe it's a dog. I, it's been, or no, it is. I think it is a cow. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen Turn A. Um, yeah, it's right here. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. It's I, totally a cow. It's been a long time. Uh, is a cow pilot for Turn A? Is that I, I don't know. I, no, no, no. It's two boys. Um, the Turn A and the Turn X. The cow is made of boys? I don't know. If you know what the cow is, please tell us in the comments. Yeah, it's been years since I've watched the show. <laughs> and like, I've never seen it. So. Yeah. Um, okay, here is our beam sabers, which are so like tiny, so yeah, thin. thin. Beam rapiers. And we have more of our gray pieces, very simple. And then more of our pretty pearlescent pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's got its own sound. 
Huh? It's got its own stamp. Yeah, it does. It does. I, it's an MG. Never mind. Uh, not all MGs do, oh. uh, but <laughs> a lot should. of them do, and pretty much any of them that have these bonus parts will. Holy um, cobalt! This Batman. is so cool. This cobalt blue. Um, that's really pretty. It look. It looks. From certain angles, it looks like it's going to be a transparent blue piece, but no, no, it's not. It's just a gorgeous, shiny cobalt. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is important here. I think that this is actually a piece of the anchor here, um, but this was actually loose in my box, so I'm going to keep it over there just in case, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that it is important. So keep an eye out for loose pieces if you <laughs> magically have this box somehow. Yeah. <clears throat> Some spoilers there in the picture. I'm trying not to show. <laughs> yeah, and then we've got more of our pearlescents. Yep. We have more hands. of our grays on our hands. So this stand <clears throat> is not just any stand. This is a, so this is an action base. This is a normal style action base, but, but it's clear and sparkly. It's full of glitter. As so, all good giant robots should yes. be. Yes. So this is this is a nice majestic stand. <clears throat> really cool looking stuff. And let's see here. We have the base plate for the stand, which is also sparkly. And then we, oh, there we go, chain, chain, chain. Um, and decals, mm -hmm. stickers. Is yeah. plastic? Um, yeah, those are plastic, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a plastic chain. Um, looks like we have a just a couple of foil stickers and then these um the series of decals here those mostly look like decals that um are like stand decals not um yeah. normal kit yeah. decals <clears throat> or put them on the build fire kit decals <laughs> and then we've got our screws for our base we have some more clear pieces those are pretty we have a clear cow. and then more now, lastly, the thing that makes the uni uh, the Moonlight Butterfly unique. Holy fuck. You guys are not ready. Yeah, if you've never seen it, you, you, you are in for a shock. So, these are the Moonlight Butterfly wings. Yep. And I don't know if the iPhone's picking it up very well. Oh, it is. Oh, the iridescence okay. is gorgeous. It, it has a rainbow finish. Um, <clears throat> and if it hits light, it refracts all over the place in this beautiful wave effect. Kids, don't do drugs. Just buy Gundam like this. Yeah, that, that's pretty. And they're hard. Mm -hmm. So these are actually harder than the wings for the... Um, the RGs that um, just released, the um, the Destiny and the Strike Freedom, um, these wings are a little thicker. They are more robust. Yeah. And they are pretty as hell. Now, can't you get these separately? Is that what you were saying? Um, they were a limited release, but um. Um, no, like you can't now. Yeah, so those are gorgeous. I am so excited for these. I'm going to toss this together, and I know we're going to do a review. Oh, yeah. Um, but this is, this is going to be a great one. Um, I've been waiting for the Moonlight Butterfly for a very long time, and now it exists. We'll so. be doing a review, too, of the um, Lightning. Oh, the Lightning Zeta. Yeah, I threw that together last night. I didn't do an unboxing, but it's, I mean, it's, the Lightning Zeta is basically just a Zeta <laughs> with yeah. a couple of, I mean, it's it's a better Zeta. It's cooler Zeta, but it's, there's nothing spectacular about the, the box itself. Um, but I'll do a review of it, yep. so we'll take a look at that. And um, I think that'll do until we get a chance to do our review. So, yep. matinee. Matinee.